And tonight, the Biden administration is weighing in on what's being considered a pivotal vaccination study on the risk of COVID reinfections. Ari Height joins us live tonight. And Ari, you spoke with a White House official about the new findings. I did. He's part of the White House COVID-19 task force, and he says vaccination rates are actually on the uptick here in Florida as well. And that study you were just talking about, he says that study shows increased vaccination rates. That's good news for everybody, including those who have already had COVID. The study focused on hundreds of residents in Kentucky. All have had COVID, but only some have since been vaccinated. According to the CDC, those who had not been vaccinated were more than twice as likely to get COVID again. And actually folks who had not been vaccinated were over 2.3 times more likely to get COVID a second time. Dr. Cameron Webb is a member of the White House COVID-19 task force. He says this study is important in that it shows having had COVID may protect you for a little while, but not forever. By the time that that immunity wanes, you're back to square one. You don't have protection against these variants. And so you're essentially, you know, in a lot of ways, like the unvaccinated people who haven't had a national infection. The question the study does not answer is how long does your immunity last if you get COVID? And it doesn't answer that question because nobody knows. It depends on the individual, depends on the variant, depends on the immune response that you that you mounted. There's a lot of variability. Dr. Webb says his takeaway from the study is it reinforces the importance of the COVID vaccine, regardless of who you are and regardless of your experience with COVID. For somebody who's never had COVID, you know, vaccination is going to be really important. And for somebody who has had COVID, vaccination is going to be really important. And Dr. Webb says getting the vaccine is no guarantee that you won't get COVID again. But just like in other cases, he says, if you've had the vaccine and you get COVID, your case will not be nearly as serious as if you weren't vaccinated. Felicia. Now, Ari, that White House official also weighed in on school masks tonight. He did. He has two young children. He told me he has both of his children wearing masks when they return to school in a couple of weeks. Keep in mind, he is with the White House COVID-19 task force. He's with the CDC. And so he also says that he hopes that most children, if not all children, are also wearing masks when they go back to school this year. All right, Ari, thank you. And new tonight.